All right, so on this price check, I'm going to do something a little more uh, aimed at uh, teaching. I think the Yixing teapot uh, is more of a specialty knowledge, so we'll look through here. It's something that there are millions of these out there, and some are worth a couple dollars and some are worth worth two to three thousand dollars you know there's one time where you know I was sitting with one and I couldn't decide how I felt about it and uh, you know I ended up passing on it and I did the research on it later and it was I, I passed up on you know buying an 80 90 dollar teapot that was worth probably about 1500 to two thousand dollars so this is a good thing to know. Um, it's also going to frustrate you at times. You know, if you don't uh, read Chinese, you're not culturally Chinese. It, it's a t it's a difficult category because you know you're not trained to see the things that you need to see. But let's go look through here. You know, these are all kind of standard. Let's switch to. If you want to see the good ones, let's go auction. And then see what is auctioning down well. What do we have here? So vintage, this is probably a republic. We got antique. Oh, that's a great shape. And a couple more. Let's see what we have sold. Let's go look at some of the highest. Oh yeah, see these are really starting to get quite special here and let's even take it off auction let's go to all listings and go highest first you know let's let's really take a look here yeah and this is a category that you know can astound me because things that I don't necessarily think are pretty are just pushing extravagant prices and prices prices that are worth paying attention to so here we've got this looks and frankly you know props to the seller we have a fine vintage teapot being list, listed as and you know there's a lot of buyers out there that are going to go for fine vintage uh with certainty that it's fine vintage for chinese wares versus you know having to speculate on whether it is a true antique or a reproduction. Um, and here, look, oh, that's, that's a great carving here. Great clay work on the pot. And usually these have a couple marks impressed in them. Um, the Yishin teapot is gonna have this, you know, a lot of them are this color, but, wow, and if you've got a little damage there, this is doing quite well. But it's really this clay texture more than anything else more than the you know the shade of brown that they are because you know we'll go through and you know they get a little darker sometimes a little redder oh that is just lovely great shape do i think this is antique i don't know it's being sold out of brooklyn it's not a bad sign Got a four character mark on the bottom. It does look like it has some age to it. It certainly does. Signs of wear. That is cute. Do they say anything about where it's from? They do not. And ah, oh, see here this is this one's a little bit more classically shaped and a bit of minimalist decor. Handmade Yixing teapot. What do we say? Happy bidding. And happy bidding means this is likely from China. And that means this is probably new or it's probably within the last 100 years. Let's see. So here we have some of the auctions that have gone down. 
this is, uh, it's got some kind of, was it a mushroom? Mushroom finial? Mushroom falling over up there? That's cool. Yeah, see, this, this is one that I would never think to pick up or look at. I mean, I think this just looks garish, but certainly a lot of people seem to disagree with me. And, and it's, it looks like it's got fine provenance. Oh, it's got a wonderful stand. And yeah, it's got a price that you can't argue with. You know, you see something that looks like this out in the future, you, hopefully you remember. Let's see what else we have here. It's much more classic. Oh, these classic shapes are very in. And this looks like it's a very nice establishment that's put this out, or at least somebody who is very good at doing photos. Half the battle on eBay getting phenomenal photos so hmm. winning bid 1350 and here this is close close to the one of the ones that uh, I had passed up and that's uh, just delightful these are also very much in style at the moment um, this sort of tree trunk style very natural and we have one that looks a bit older. Yes, this one is, you can really see some of the wear on that one. And just what a lovely shape. Looks like it possibly meant to be a lotus shape. I'm not great at my flowers. I'd certainly tell you a lotus <laughs> if it were drawn. But, oh, isn't that something? That is quite the attractive teapot. And it's funny because, you know, personal style, the market does not care about personal style. I think this, I, I rate this so much, so much more strongly than, you know, something with this type, kind of visual. And, you know, here we are in 1500 to 1000. Flip a coin, I guess. But I think if you're out buying, this is what you want to be looking for. Is, you know, you've got good age, good wear, great patina. That is lovely. Well, hopefully you learned something. Um, let's see, there's one more thing you know to keep an eye out is sometimes these are you know come in a little variant or you get a little bit bluer. I'm trying to find a good one. Yeah, you know, sometimes you might see these. Usually they're not uh, rated so highly. Um, and then other times you might see... These, these I think, are quite common, but they're very... Uh, they sell very well, these calligraphy um, versions. This is, this is one if you really keep your eye out you will see these where it's that very naturalistic style and then it has a poem on one or both sides wow that is very well done so hopefully you learned something and you know if you want to ask me some questions about this stuff I don't know a ton I know, I know a good amount I know enough to buy um, drop your questions below, I'll see if I can answer.